Hello everyone around the world. Welcome back to my channel, Adrenal Bacas Leverance Ministry. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, so that you'll be notified of my new videos. Guys, please don't forget to read your Bible. Again, read your Bible and apply God's words every day because Jesus Christ is coming, guys. He is going to set up His kingdom on earth whether you like it or not it's coming very soon guys so place words read his read his word every day and apply his words every day as the devil and the demons are has i mean have been have been you know working over time double time for your downfall they are they have been trying to tempt and bringing people in hell as many as they can because they are heading there very soon so the devil and the demons they are very greedy and selfish they don't want you and i to be in heaven so guard your heart and guard your soul guard your mind everything because jesus christ he already mentioned that in the bible that he is preparing the place for you and I the place in heaven you belong in heaven you don't belong in hell so this is only a reminder but it's still your choice so without Jesus Christ you will go to hell not in purgatory not in between that is not biblical that is not in the Bible so that is Jesus never taught about purgatory only heaven and hell and another thing too that i would like you all to read or if you want to be encouraged there are lots of god's words that i've been i have been posting only on my facebook page that is www.facebook.com slash adrenal b so guys i have a word for you guys that the holy spirit spoke to me a couple days ago this is god's word letter b the holy spirit spoke to me last Oh, this March 9, 2024, this year. The title of this message is All People Around the World Who Refuse to Read the Bible. The word says, All people around the world, again, all people around the world who refuse to read the Bible or, or who don't read the Bible and apply his words or God's words will be left behind and they will suffer the seven years of great tribulations that includes the mark of the beast so guys this is an ad lib guys you know when before I came to Christ before I got converted into born again Christian I never thought about, I heard about Mark of the Beast, but I never ever thought about, um, heard about Left Behind, the, the Rapture, you know. But then when I read the Bible, it's there. Jesus mentioned that in the book of Matthew, chapter 24. In the book of Mark, I believe it is in chapter 13. But I'm not sure, guys. But check that out. Book of Matthew. Book of Mark. Book of Luke. All right. Then the book of Revelation is very, very... Uh, there is a, uh, the book, the final book in the Bible that you must read. Because if you will check all my posts, especially you can Google that or you can search the... In YouTube channel, the Left Behind movie, that's how it looks like. Okay, that's how it looks like. If you refuse Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, and your Savior, or you are a lukewarm, you are a, a, a you know, you call yourself Christian, but you are not Christian. You are you belong to the. Uh, five churches I mentioned that before on my previous videos 
if you are a compromise, if you are a corrupt, if you are a lukewarm, loveless, if you are a dead church, if you belong to these churches, Jesus revealed that to John in the island of Patmos. That's where John um, uh, wrote his uh, the, the book of Revelation. So, but anyway, guys, these churches, if you are not really like uh, you're a fake Christian, you will be left behind. You will be left behind whether you like it or not. And you will, you will miss that great event that is the rapture. That is the rapture. So I talk about the rapture on my second edition. All right. So this second edition, guys, my second book, it's fully detailed book. So right now I'm not sharing. I'm just sharing you guys what I have written in my book because that's what the Lord told me to do so. So, but you don't have to read my book because I'm not selling my book. This is not time for me to sell my book yet, my books yet. Jesus will do it. Jesus will tell me when. But anyway, guys, I really care. I, am, I really care about your soul because your soul will live forever whether you like it or not and if Jesus will gonna decide to take all his true followers that's gonna be the, a great exodus a worldwide exodus before his before the great wrath of G, uh, the great wrath of God will uh, pour out here on earth God he's been like that in the Old Testament that he had to make sure and he's going to make sure that his own people will be spared so are you one of them or are you just not believing whether you believe it or not it will happen because I, as far as I know, around 500 biblical prophecies are going to be fulfilled. So these are left. So there are, um, maybe it's going to be less than 500, 500 Bible prophecies. But guys, guys, if you just go check YouTube channel, you uh, type the world calamities you'll be able to find out you'll be able to find out how crazy and these are only birth pains that jesus christ mentioned about that in the bible book of matthew especially book of matthew but if you get intense guys it'll get be crazy so you don't want to be left behind you don't want to suffer craziness especially the antichrist is already here we are heading to that um mark of the beast whether you like it or not so i mean just here in this channel to encourage you all to read your bible come to christ he's the only one who can save your soul not the priest not other people only Jesus Christ. All right. So, um, that's the word, guys. If you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, and your Savior today, not tomorrow, today is the day of your salvation. Don't wait tomorrow, because tomorrow may, you may get a day. There's no, no, um, no, there's no security for you for tomorrow. Because you don't own your life. Jesus does. Again, Jesus does. All you have to do is to repent. Invite Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, and your Savior. And then promise Him to follow Him for the rest of your life. You can pray your own simple prayer. Or you can pray along with a simple prayer. Here you go. Lord Jesus Christ, 
Please forgive me for all my sins. Please come into my heart and into my life and be my Lord, my God, and my Savior. From now on, Jesus, I will follow you for the rest of my life. Amen. So if you pray the simple prayer, or you prayed your own simple prayer, according to the Bible, your name is written in the book of life, but... If you are still refusing or rejecting Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, and your Savior, according to the Bible, in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 15, it says, If anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, was casted in the lake of fire. So guys, this is a warning and invitation. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, I would like to uh, correct the uh, verse that I just mentioned. If you reject or refuse Jesus Christ as your Lord, God, and your Savior, it was not book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 15. The correct Bible or book in the Bible is the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 15. It says, if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, was casted in the lake of fire. So that's what the correct Bible verse. So again, I am sorry, I am just a human being. And um, so that's all, guys. You have a blessed day. Bye bye.